hey guys what's up youtube um welcome to today's video uh today's video is kind of like a different um different format um we're going to be trying to shoot and then do a voiceover afterwards so uh, let's just jump into the video today i'm going to be giving you tips on how to shoot with natural light um we just got a brand new space that has this amazing natural light and um because of that, I've been shooting a lot of stuff with natural light recently. So I just did a shoot with a friend of mine and I'd like to give you guys tips and tricks on how to maximize um, natural light. Okay, so um, the first thing, which kind of seems obvious, but um, it kind of seems obvious, but you have to have natural light and you need a big window or a big door or a garage door or something like, you know, that allows a lot of this light to come in and yeah, and that would make it things a lot easier for you. And the next thing you need to do is, you know, if you can get V flats, okay? V flats are quite expensive here in Nigeria. They cost as much to the same price to ship in as the V flat themselves. But if you can get them, they're good because they can stand on their own and they have um, they have the V shape. You can you can direct them differently. But if you can't get a V flat, you know, your reflector will do fine. If you have assistance to hold those for you or you could you know paint a white board you know just anything that will bounce off the light re really but you know uh let's just go with view flats for this one you know i just thought about mirrors now and i'd like to try that out mirrors could work i'm trying to do like a backlit setup where um, my model is backlit and has this white background and i'm using two view flats on either side of her to bounce the light back into her face if you've done um the setup with shooting with strobes where you use like a big umbrella behind and use your reflectors or your view flats to bounce the light back um, this is very very similar to that setup all right now so blessing is here now and we're about to start shooting as you can see she's um facing um the other side of the light so we're doing backlit so i as you've seen the images in a couple of seconds you see that behind her is completely blown out as white and we're using um the lights that is bouncing off the v flats to her face now the third tip i'd say is if you have any kind of natural lights in any kind of artificial lights in your scene like your bulbs and stuff you can switch those off because you know they, they will usually have like a different color tone to them so you want to turn those off you don't want those into your shots at all so at least to keep a kind of level of consistency with the colors of your lights also you want the light directions to remain the same and all of that so um yeah that's pretty much the first step to shooting um, natural light and Okay, so we'll go to the next tip. And the next tip is do not be afraid to crank up your eyes. So you might need to, depend on how much light you have, but um, don't be afraid to, especially if you have a full frame camera, you know, push that ISO up. Don't be like those Fuji guys. I didn't say that, but <laughs> get a full frame camera. <laughs> push your ISO up. You can, you can do um, ISO 1000, 1005, 1006, right? 2000, you know, you can push up 2000 and still be fine. Okay, so if you have your full frame camera, you're fine. Also, what could help you if you're using Fuji? Um, <laughs> get a get a, a wider aperture lens. So get something 1.4, 1.2, 1.8. Those will help you get more lights in. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, so the next tip I'd say is. Uh, if you understand how light falls, light uh, light fall off works. If you understand the inverse square rule, uh, I'm going to put it up on the screen somewhere. Uh, make sure that you put your V flat as close to your subject as possible. Okay, you understand that light falls off over distance, and you lose you don't have that much light you're working with. Most times with natural light, they are not as powerful as the strobe light, so you might need to push it forward um, to just get your V flats closer to your subject to try and get the best out of it. Also, get closer to your natural light as much as possible okay so um yeah i just changed the shape of my v flat a little bit here because i was trying to get them as close as possible like i said earlier on you want your lights to be as close as they can be to your subject to maximize that power okay okay um now movements is the next point you know you might want to reduce movements as much as possible because uh if you're shooting and you don't want to go your iso too high you might want to shoot at a lower shutter speed now um shooting with flash really helps and covers a lot of our uh, uh shakes and all of that because flash freezes motion but the moment you're shooting natural light any single shift or shake or movement in your hand or on the camera or your subject would show get a nice pose and then um, try and shoot that okay if your camera has ibis or in body image stabilization try and turn that on um, if your lens also has turned that on it will go a long way to help you get um, better looking images 
okay guys at this point if you are not subscribed to our channel please subscribe we're monetized now we're trying to grow the channel we want to get it to 10,000 subscribers as soon as possible uh, so please share the video with your friends share them on your photography groups and then just watch over and over again okay help us make this money <laughs> All right, so now we are moving on to a new setup. And in this setup here, I am going to be shooting, um, you know, a little bit differently from before. Now we're moving our natural light to the side, that's to the camera right and to the left of our model. We're using a V flat as the backdrop and another V flat to, to bounce. So you can see the setup exactly. I don't think it needs that much explaining, but you see exactly how this is set up now to try and get a different feel and a different kind of picture. So this is not going to be blown out behind. And as you can see now, our model is coming into the shot and we have to sit down. And yeah, she's really excited. She wants to do some movements, but she was wondering that these natural lights were no favor movements. But <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, she's back on the camera now. We're just gonna try and get some shots. So you see here, I'll tell her in a second to face the other side of the camera to try and you know let that light hit her face as opposed to her hair. So um, yeah, that works. So shooting like this, yeah, uh, you can bring your eyes a little bit lower because you are closer to the light and you can get a lot more um, more power from your natural light this way. Okay, so uh, this is the second setup and it's pretty straightforward. We'll show a couple of images in a second and you can see exactly what we're doing. So camera is coming in closer and looks good. Now, if you want to know uh, what camera we're shooting with, we are shooting with a Nikon Z9, as you can see right here. Um, we're using um, the fish uh, or eye autofocus tracker and as well as you can see it's working beautifully well uh, it just stays on the eye right there uh, I'm a Nikon fanboy just leave me so um, <laughs> all right yeah this is what we were getting and we've got really nice images here all right so we're trying to get some really uh, more interesting shots and you know, I, I tried a shot with the off the, with the dress kind of off shoulder and it looked really nice. So we decided to um, um, do more of that. And we kind of changed the setup a little bit to um, do more uh, more skin earrings and just a ring on her face. We wanted to get rid of the more stark yellow fabric. And yeah, we got some really interesting images. I mean, Blessing has gorgeous hair, so um, they look really good. Uh, amazing, amazing stuff. Okay, so um, yeah, so that's pretty much this setup and we can see everything. If you have any questions about this setup or how we shot, please leave a, a, a comment in the, in the comment section below. Okay, so this is our third setup and this is pretty much the same setup we had before, except that um, we put the backdrop now. So no v as a backdrop, we have an actual backdrop as the backdrop now. So we have the V-flash to camera left and we have it, I don't know if you can see this, but to camera right right there, there is a V-flat uh, black side blocking the light from hitting the backdrop, okay? So we have a V-flat there as well. So uh, we're trying to control the light and just shoot like, you know, we'll shoot normally with the softbox if it was feathered. Um, so guys, this is not a natural light tip, but just a tip for photography generally, you know, be very intentional about the colors of backdrops you use. As you can see here, we're shooting this mustard yellow against the teal kind of bluish backdrop and that really makes it pop you know you want to add depth to your pictures and as much as possible you want to um, just whatever makes um, your picture stand out or makes your subject stand out from the background um, I always say you have to add depth excuse me add depth to your images so that's that's what inspired this backdrop and the fabric that you're seeing right here okay so uh, I was shooting I shot with three different lenses I shot with the 105 2.8 a 35 1.4 and a 51.8 okay so we just you know got different angles different um exposures as well just to you know don't have it to play around you know go high and shoot down go down and shoot high up do different things see what you like and um and yeah so here i have changed the setup a little bit with the black reflect on the other side i'm trying to create you know more drama now so if you didn't know this but you can use the black reflect as a negative feel to try and cut out the amount of um, bounce lights you're getting back into your model's face so this is more dramatic and it, it's it helps so these are just tips to which you can control 
you can control your lights okay if you look now to her left and camera right you see there's a black reflect flat there that's covering the light that is hitting the the backdrop if not the backdrop will be really bright okay so uh yes and this is pretty much the third fourth setup i don't know what setup this is but I hope you guys are enjoying this and learning one of the things. So uh, now we are going to move on to the last setup. All right. So before we move on to the last setup, you know, I said we shouldn't do motion shots, but you know, I tried to do some motion shots. Let's try to see if we could get some um, some movements just to add a bit of interest into the shots. So we threw the fabric around and we got some interesting shots. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> This is me explaining how to throw fabric, like I've had true fabric before. <laughs> yeah, so we did a lot of that, okay. Alright, so this is our last um, final setup and it is very similar to our first setup if you remember what our first setup looked like, but now we're using an actual backdrop. So, um, but the light that is hitting that is coming from the top area here above the backdrop is hitting the v-flat hitting the reflector on the ground and bouncing back into her like i said you might need to push up your eyes so shoot 1.4 1.2 whatever you have the capabilities to shoot just to make sure that you get this much light back into your subject's face okay so um here we just messed around with different poses different looks and you know as i said earlier the tip is get your v-flat as close to your subject as possible i mean if i could get it closer to her without it being in my frame i would do that or you know being in my frame to the extent where i can i can cut it out i would do that so um also here i added a reflector below to uh, bounce whatever light i could bounce off back into her subject like i said earlier if you would notice all my lights all my artificial lights in the studio are turned off please turn them off don't let them get into your shots they look white but they are not white they have color casts they have all these things that will show up in your picture also they are not exactly soft light sources and they could have like weird color create like weird shadows on your subject and all so you want it to be pure clean natural beautiful natural light and yep so um this is it let me see did we do anything else i don't think we did anything else this is the last setup and okay we just played around with different poses i asked her to look up look down oh this backdrop is beautiful by the way uh, if you want to know where i got this backdrop from this is one of zen backdrops gradient backdrops they have quite a number of them and they are beautiful they are amazing so um get yourself one or you can rent you know this is me raising the reflector to get more more feel you know just more feel okay um yep so please um get zen backdrops they are amazing you can rent if you can't afford to buy one or if you just want to test them out rent they also ship to everywhere around the world i'll put their plug in here so you can check out their instagram and see um see what backdrops they have okay so again guys please if you are not subscribed to the channel please subscribe just subscribe now just go and click it now and like this video give it a thumbs up turn on post notifications this is a brand new video style we haven't shot anything like this and i'm hoping that if you guys like it we'll do more of this kind of descriptive kind of videos where we explain to you exactly what we're doing how we're doing it and what we're doing all right guys so um till the next one i will see you again later all right guys cheers and have a lovely week bye